What is research? The dictionary's definition of research is careful or diligent search, studious inquiry or examination, the collecting of information about a particular subject. So research is really finding information. But why do we need to research? You might be trying to prove a theory, you might be learning new facts, or you may be trying to provide a solution to something. So how do we actually do research? Well, there's a couple of methods that you could follow, a couple of approaches. The big six is one, independent in investigation method is one, and guided inquiry design is one. These are all just guides to help you through the research process. They're all similar in many ways and there's a few differences. Um, I kind of combine all of them into my own plan. The first step is going to be to plan. And step one includes defining your task. Sometimes you are defining your own task. Sometimes the teacher has defined the task for you. Step two, you figure out how you will acquire the information you need for the research. This is the time when you ask lots of questions. What do you need to know? What do you already know? How will you get this information? Step three is to find your information. Locate your sources and access the information within them. We're going to be using sources. So what is a source? A source is just the place you get your information from. They could be websites and databases, which is what we're going to mostly talk about. Um, books, newspapers and magazines, whether those are online or the print version. A sound recording like a podcast or music. Places, a person who's an expert at the subject, and videos and TV programs. A lot of students think that Google is a source, but it is not a source. It is a search engine, which is a source finder. It is finding your sources, which are websites. So let's talk about trusting our sources for a moment. Wikipedia is the best thing ever. Anyone in the world can write anything they want about any subject. So you know you are getting the best possible information. Now I hope you realize that Steve Carroll from The Office was being sarcastic, but it is true. Anybody can add anything they want to Wikipedia. And so we need to talk a minute about trusting our sources and how to be able to do that. So no matter what type of source you use, it is important to evaluate the reliability of the information you find. Books and databases are usually going to be more trustworthy than just general websites. And that's because experts are paid to check and double check the facts in these before they're published. It's kind of scary, but a 2003 report by the NEA referenced a study which found that only 27% of the websites used by middle and high school students were actually reliable. So what I'm afraid you're doing is you're going to Google, searching for something, clicking on the first website you find, and believing everything it says. But we need to stop for a minute and evaluate that website, and I'm going to teach you how to do that. So how can you tell if the source you want to use is credible? Try this method. Jane says crap test. What? We all know everything you find online is true, right? No? Really? Huh. Use the crap test when you need to look up anything online. It's not just for school. Use it for looking up info on cars, movies, celebrity gossip, and research for your classes. What is it? The superfine librarians at Cal State Chico came up with the crap test. It stands for C, currency. When was the information written? Is it too old for what you need? R, relevance. Does the info answer your question? Who's the audience, a fifth grader? A, authority or author, the big one. Who wrote the info? Who put it out there? Look at the website address for clues. 
is it a .com, commercial, .gov, government, .edu, education, or a .org? Something to think about. .edu's could be written by a student. Don't blindly trust an edu, an EDU website. Check to see who wrote the info. Look for a link that says about us or who we are or something similar. A, accuracy. Is the information correct? Can you verify the info in another source? P, for purpose. Why is the information out there? Is it to persuade, to inform, educate, or sell something? Look for bias in how the information is presented. Using this simple crap test can help you determine if a website is credible or not. Well, I don't think you will forget that acronym, but you may forget what each letter stands for. So here's a graphic to help you remember. It's also on my website, so you can look at it again and remember that we're looking for how current something is, how relevant it is to your topic, the authority of who created the information, how accurate it is, and the only way you will know that is by checking more than one source, and then what the purpose is of the author or the website if they're trying to persuade you to believe something or if they're just giving you straight facts and information. So once you find those credible, reliable sources, then you actually have to get the information out of those sources. You're going to do that by writing note facts, which are short, true facts. That's really a whole other lesson at another time on how to do that. But you want to make sure you're not being a copycat, that you want to write the information in your own words, and that you also give credit to your sources. We want to write note facts so we make sure we're not plagiarizing or stealing someone else's words and ideas. We also don't want to steal other people's pictures too because that's copyrighted. So we need to make sure we give credit to all of our sources. So once you've gotten the information from multiple sources, then you're going to need to integrate that information and create something new or a product. Sometimes you get to decide what your product will be. Sometimes the product is assigned to you by the teacher. Um, these are just some examples of different products you could make. Finally, you want to review and evaluate your work. You're making sure you did everything you needed to do. You make sure you found all of the information. You make sure you give credit to your sources, followed copyright laws, make sure it's neat, complete, and that you did your very best.